Well, howdy, 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 nearly seeing yourselves. Here, 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 and all of them, and all of them, my friends. And welcome to this another brand new day. Hope he smokes. <laughs> I did not sleep great last night. I don't feel too tired, but at the same time, at the same time, at 5.30, I took 10 milligrams of my ADHD meds. Normally, half hour later, I feel like things are slowing down, and then I'm able to think and remember stuff. At 6.30, I took another 10 milligrams. So I, I should be at 7.02 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yeah. I should be uh, feeling the effects. I feel like I've taken no meds at all. <laughs> the day is still rushing by. I can't really concentrate or focus, so good morning. <laughs> Definitely a thumbs up. Now, I'm just mentioning this just because I am a human being. I try not to get upset about things that I know are, are worthless to get upset about, but I'm a human being. There is no fear, even though I can't even break 200 views on a vlog anymore. I mean, yay. Even though I can't even break that, and I'm pushing hard to break 200 on a lot of other videos, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to complain about it because I'm a human being. Uh, we are contrary, backwards, uh, unreasonable, illogical, and so, you know, I may say, I stand for this, and then the minute I finish saying that, turn around and then do the exact opposite. I'm a person. So, in this particular case, try and remember, you see, I, I'm so unfocused, my meds aren't working. But, uh, try to remember, I'm not going to complain about whatever it was, I'm not going to complain about, ah, yes, my videos. <laughs> I'm going to continue making videos, it doesn't matter even if I only get 10, 20 views on a video, because I have nothing else right now in my life. And making videos on a schedule for my channel, even though it's in shambles and all that, is it adds form and structure to an otherwise formless and structureless life. I have a schedule a work schedule, there's things I, I do to make my videos and that adds stuff to my life maybe not a lot of people watch but it's still a structure form and meaning without it there is not a lot right now so yeah I'm gonna keep making videos because it's also for my head it's also to keep me working you know mentally I need to talk and I don't have a lot of people to talk to IRL so if I can't talk I don't work and this allows me to talk to get stuff out, so thumbs up on that. Also, as an aside, which is not an aside at all because it's stuff that I put down on my list over here, I was, well, it's, it's a physical issue. I have had things with some of my toes on my right foot where I was out walking before and on, if this is your foot, you know, this is my right foot with my big toe and then all my, you know, my little toe there, this toe, I've had kind of problems with that toe because of the, our human feet, you know, and the way things adapt and shoes that we wear and the things that our bodies do, my little toes are on their sides. And so I got little pointy parts of my toe ends of the toe pads that come to like a point because my skin squishes and when I walk, it pushes my feet a certain way. And so you get calluses and so the rest of your toes adjust and then you've got that. On my left toe, left toe, on my right foot, on that toe, that one has one of those issues. It kind of moves off to the side. And so as you walk, the bottom pad of the toe, you know, it'll come to a kind of a point as, you know, you're in your shoes, you got stuff around. And so I've had long pointy calluses that build off the end of that. Last night as I was coming home, suddenly my toe hurt so bad. I took off my shoe and it was hard to do it without cramping. But I angled my foot and took a look at my toe as I was going to bed last night. The entire bottom half. You know, if my toenail is here and the rest of my toe is here and this is the bottom part of the pad, this bottom part is a huge blister. Huge blister. The entire bottom half of my toe. Oh my God. So I am limping slowly through the house. 
I'm going to have to walk down to the store and get food and stuff because even if I have money for food, I don't have a vehicle anymore. My housemates drove it until it died, and now I don't have a vehicle. I mean, I haven't had it for a long time, and I've been walking by choice for a long time, but I, no choice now. I have to walk. And, I mean, it's been that way for a while, so it's not new. I'm not angry or anything, but that means I can't carry a lot. I carry two bottles of soda and food for the next day and I am exhausted after I get home because that's at the end of a four mile walk is where I stop at the store, grab stuff and then take that last mile home. So it's hard to walk and especially now with that toe. Ugh. So uh, I gotta walk as little as possible for a while. Ugh. It's fun. It's joyous. This morning, I think it was this morning or last night, can't even remember when, I tried to look at the bottom of my left foot to take a look at the toe there. In the short amount of time it took, like a quarter of a second, to look at the bottom of my toes, my left leg from the knee down went from soft, supple, pliant flesh to uh, we're turning into stone now and we're going to start killing you at any second. So that quarter second of a turn was enough to almost cramp up my entire leg from the knee on down. Fun. Yeah, so it was joyous last night. I kept waking up. I wasn't really hurting. I wasn't really anything. I just wasn't sleeping. Uh, joy. So, that's fun, too. <laughs> this other thing is something that I was thinking of as I was walking last night. Because, like I said, I watch a, a fair amount of debunking videos. And if you're spiritual, if you're religious, that's fine. It's just that religion and spirituality is not, ba is not, not based on, is not for the physical world. It's, it's, you know, for your inner life. And trying to take myths and stories and make them fit into reality when reality is saying, uh, no, can be problematic. Especially if you deliberately and willfully ignore the reality and science. Like, there are a lot of young Earth creationists that even though we have known for decades that, no, the Big Bang did not explode out of nothing. There was a singularity, something that we can't understand. We may never understand it. We may. Right now, we don't. But we're feeling at the edges of it to try and figure out what it is. An event occurred. I mean, it could be something as simple as there was an extra dimension to all of these places. We're three plus one, width, depth, height, and a sense of time. If you add even one more thing to that, because we grew up in this, we can't imagine this other thing. Our brains just don't work that way. So there was something that we don't understand. Something occurred that we do not understand. And then inflation and the universe. And so we've known that for decades. And so when you have the young earth creationists going on and making videos about, oh, it just doesn't make sense. The universe exploded out of nothing. Yeah, you're willfully presenting a straw man to knock that down. So you're automatically right there. Why should anyone listen to you? If your first premise is a lie, how can you trust anything else they say? Now, the reason I bring this up is because there was apparently one video on this one debunking thing that they were looking at where the people that made the video were saying the universe runs on math. And who invented math? Because there's math and the universe, obviously that is proof that this happened and our religion is correct. Everything else is wrong and atheists are evil. So... There's a lot of problems with that. Because yes, the universe appears to run on math. But remember, math is just a language that we invented to describe what we see. And we have been working on this language for thousands of years, and it has become precise. 
very precise, to the point we can make predictions and they will be correct. We can send rockets out to touch planets that take years to get there and they make it because of math, but not because the universe runs on math but because we have been working on and refining that language to describe the universe so much and so well, standing on the backs of the people that were already there working on it, that the language that we have invented to describe how the universe works is pretty damn precise. And yeah, you can make those predictions. Does that mean the universe runs on math? No, it just means the language that we invented to describe the universe is pretty accurate. But it's still just a filter for us to look at the universe. Because after all, if you look at it, at the universe through a mathematician's eyes, of course the universe will run on math. If you wear rose-tinted lenses and you look at the world, the world is going to appear to be rose-colored. If you look at the universe through math-tinted lenses, the universe is going to appear to be math. But math is just a language that we invented to describe the universe. Like basic math mathematics, you know, 2 plus 2 equals 4. That's not a law. And laws aren't called laws because they constrain the universe and we've discovered these things. No, it's just something so simple, so basic, so reduced down to its simplest form that that's like two plus two equals four. It's not a law, it's just reality. Two whatever is plus two whatever is equals four whatever. So these laws of the universe are only because we've got things reduced so far down that yeah it's it this is the way it works add two to two you get four same thing with all those things the law of motion entropy thermodynamics it's just we have discovered this is the way the universe works and our language describes it the universe is not constrained by these things it exists it does stuff our language just describes the actions of it. And it can make predictions because it's pretty accurate language, but the universe does not run on math. These are just descriptions. Like when you are in a rocket ship and you are riding a column of fire into the sky and escaping our universe, is it doing it because math said it could? No. It's happening because you're sitting on like 50,000 tons of explosives. Math just describes what happens when those explosives drive you up into space. So thumbs up on that. Also, <clears throat> also, as a quick aside on that one, apparently there's like a, a I don't know the name, but it's like Corey X Kenshin. I guess he's like a YouTuber or a TikToker or something. Apparently a very wholesome fellow. Excuse me. But as much as he's a wholesome fellow, somebody made a debunking video to show how evil this person really was and how they're a Satanist and worse because, and I was just watching a reaction video to this as they were reacting to the insanity of it, the biggest reason, the biggest proof they have that this wholesome individual is a Satanist and evil is because, well, they wear red and sometimes when they take pictures, there's red clothing behind them. And that's the proof. And so they're making videos about how they are evil and putting them online to show people how evil this person is because they're a Satanist because they well, they occasionally have red clothing in the background behind them, or they occasionally wear red clothing. Free speech is good. Free speech is fine. I am employing free speech right now, but at the same time, if you're going to talk about other people, don't yell fire in a crowded theater. Don't be doing bad things just because you have 
the capability. Just because you can doesn't always mean you should. And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. And I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm going to read them afterward. Thumbs up each one I do. Answer as many as my executive dysfunction will allow. Thumbs up for that. If I mispronounce your username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. And even though I can't American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibromyalgia, grief, mourning, partially treated ADHD, I am sometimes lucky I can remember anything at all. Especially this morning where I am reaping zero benefits from my ADHD meds. We have Freddy, thumbs up and thank you. Gak TV, greatly appreciate it. Hot ladies with anime tighties, conspiracy, since that's the way it's pronounced. Pronounced, spelled. Yuki likes hot potatoes. Good to see you in the comments again. Snufkin's gay ass, good to see you in the comments as well. Nicholas Fuentes, and good to see you in the comments. We have Tommy Nelson, good to see you in the comments. Ice Damon, good to see you in the comments. Thank you everybody who has commented before and continues to comment. It is greatly appreciated. S.A., thumbs up and thank you. Nando Rice Cheruti, good to see you in the comments. <laughs> Jay Nams, thumbs up and thank you. We've confused Owl29, good to see you in the comments. And I'm sorry you got the such a bad reaction to your first dosage. But that does kind of suck, but uh, yeah, at least you got it. Josh Miller, thumbs up. We have Morgan Alexis, greatly appreciated. Devin Botiveras, thumbs up. Neil Carlton, thumbs up and thank you. Al Sol y Sombra, I'm nowhere close, but thank you. Colin Reisenauer, thumbs up and thank you. Kapaki, good to see you in the comments, thumbs up. Sebastian Ferris, good to see you in the comments lately, thumbs up and thank you. And then Ray, greatly appreciated. We have Gaz, G-H-A-Z, thumbs up. There is Kobe Schmucker. Thank you very, very much, and I'm very sorry I mispronounced that last name. We have Nameless, greatly appreciated, and Rada. D-E-R-O-U-A. Thumbs up and thank you. Each and every one of you. You get me out of my head, into the world, if I can pronounce the words properly. Dealing with real people, into the world, if only in text. A very good thing. Thumbs up and thank you so much. If you could check out my various links down below, like Twitter, Facebook, Patreon.com. If you could become a Patreon.com patron, like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money through the patronage, I have a PayPal link down below. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money at all, I have an Amazon wish list link as well, where hopefully I have things like rep to sand and hamster food and hamster bedding and cat food on it. If you could check it out, that'd be very cool. Do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. Definite thumbs up. And of course, if you could hit the notification bell on the subscription button, that would be very cool. Thumbs up and thank you so very, very much. And the horse head of encouragement. Now that it is once again wearing the powerful artifact, the lobster hat, it does wish us the very best in our lives. We are a beautiful and wonderful species, and it feels nothing but joy, affection, and love for us. A very, very good thing. Go forth, seize the day, and do the very, very best that you can. A definite thumbs up. And of course, Black Lives Matter. Good golly, Miss Molly, and stop Asian hate. Hopey smokes. Please, during these very hard times, try to stay as safe and creative as you can. A very good thing. So, even though we're nearing the end of this whole pandemic thing, if you don't have to go out, please don't go out. If you do have to go out, wear a mask, wash your hands, try not to touch your face, maintain your social distancing. If you can, get the vaccination on the 11th of this month. I'm getting my second shot. You still got to be careful. You can still spread it. So you still have to wear a mask and be careful. But you're safer. And that's a very good thing. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And that is a definite thumbs up. I've gotten distracted. I've been thinking about my kitty cat walking in. And yet, 
I was talking about the different paths that we all walk through life. And how some people 